Welcome back to my channel for another video. Oh my goodness, it is officially the holiday season and yeah, you know I had to do something special for you guys. Today's video is another episode of She Did What Now? Where I take this beautiful but very outdated and kind of matronly style dress to have this very textured, sparkly detail on it. Well, I take it and refashion and redesign it into this very sleek, elegant, sophisticated but sexy off the shoulder dress perfect for the holidays so if you're interested to see how I created how I refashioned and redone this dress then please stay tuned so here's the dress um, I had it laid out flat and as you can see like I said it has these cardigan fronts to it that are just really outdated and just kind of aged so I'm going to remove these cardigan flaps and I'm thinking of making them sleeves first I'm going to remove the shoulder pads because they're just going to get in the way and on my nerves I also remove the tag because I just hate tags in clothing they're annoying and itchy just, I don't like them I turned the dress inside out so I'm able to get into the cardigan insects because it's not attached to the outside of the dress, it's attached to the inside of the dress along the seams. So I seam ripped the entire dress open on the side, starting from where the cardigan insert flaps are and where they end all the way up um, under the arm. So I had to seam rip, like I said, the almost the entire side of the dress and going all the way up under the arms. I just went ahead and removed the um, the sleeves in this process because I'll be using the sleeve as a template to create my new long sleeve dress from the inside flaps, or as the inside flaps. I don't know what to call them, the cardigan flaps, the, the in cardigan inserts. So I used the old sleeve from the dress to trace in the new sleeves and I traced the back and the front because again the sleeves are two different sides on the back and the front. One side is steeper than the other as you can see I hope you get a clear image of that. And I just took some chalk and just went over and traced it. I am going to measure the length as well as the curvature. This is a sleeve that I already did off camera and I'm just using that as my template to see because I wanted to make sure that it fits and it was secure on my arm because I, I want it to be nice. I want it to be fitted and sleek, have a nice fitted look. I didn't want it to be big and oversized. So I used the sleeve that I first made as a template to create the second sleeve. And again, I'm just drawing out the um, the top bell part of the sleeve. Once I have everything marked out and it's correct, I always go back and check my marks. I'm going to cut out the shape that I need. So I cut away the XX material after I have traced everything and then I'm going to sew up the sides of the sleeve so that I can prepare it to attach it to the dress. This is me attaching, um, just um, pinning and clipping the sides of the dress together so that I can re-sew up the sides. I had to seam rip the entire side as well as the top shoulder seams of the dress to remove the cardigan flaps. So here's me attaching the sleeves. Um, attaching the sleeve to the dress, I start at the top matching up the seams and then I pin around and I just do a basic stay stitch along the uh, seam rotating it making sure that the fabric is matching up lying together I don't pull in I don't pull the fabric too taut 
I just give it a kind of relaxed little tug so that it all lays flat together. Because this fabric is textured, it takes a little bit to move it around. So you can see I'm taking my time. I know it's sped up, but I am taking my time. Next, I am cuffing the sleeves because they are long. I want them long. I want them to kind of go over my hand. I'm cuffing up my sleeves and I'm just putting a pin in it so I can go ahead and sew that together. And I do the smallest stitch possible so it can have a clean, minimal look. And I, of course, I use black thread on this black fabric so it cannot be seen on the outside. Next, I am cutting away the original neckline. After I remove the flaps and the seams and I reattach the shoulders and everything, I didn't like how the neckline looked. It kind of had an old um, matron look and I'm not really going for that. Um, so I played around with... I played around with the necklines and I decided to go with it off the shoulder neckline, slightly off the shoulder. I think that just goes well with the long sleeves and the length of the dress. Here I am taking some thin elastic and I'm going to attach that right of where the dress would sit on my shoulders. So this, the dress will have a little bit of stretch so it's easy for me to take on and off as well as it will stay secure to my shoulders. If you have some clear elastic or elastic thread. Um, clear elastic thread that this will work perfectly for that. Because this fabric is textured, when it lays against the skin, it is quite irritating after a while. So to combat that so that I could be able to wear it all night long, I'm going to take some stretch ribbon. You can use any type of material. You can use some leftover scrap fabric, some lining fabric, and I'm just going to line the inside of the dress where the fabric is folded over. So that would be the hem, the, the hem of the dress, the cuff of my sleeves, and then the fold up part of the off the shoulder part. And I'm just showing you here that you can use hot glue, E6000, fabric glue, or you can sew this on. Either way is preferable, but for a quick fix, I chose the fabric glue. So that guys, I am done. I completely love how this come out. I am a sparkling tree disco ball and I absolutely love it. This dress is perfect for the holidays. This is like one of my greatest finds I found at the thrift store in 2017 minus the trench coat. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned. If you guys want to see how I created this makeup look and how I put all, put all this together for this event, then please stay tuned for my next video. I will be uploading a get ready with me. Thank you so much for watching stylers and always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time. Happy holiday stylers.